Instead of uh, preaching, I really felt strong in my heart this morning to make some statements, some declarations, some warfare prayers. Because I feel like there are some bondages that need to be broken in this place. And we're going to break them with the words of our mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. I said this morning is a special morning. If I were you, I would position myself for a breakthrough. If I were you, I would position myself for a visitation. I said if I were you this morning, I would position myself for a visitation from above. Hallelujah. Uh, let's read Daniel chapter 10 verse 12 together. It said, then he said to me, do not fear. For from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before God, your words were heard, and I have come because of your words. I have come because of your words. I have come because of your words. Your words can move angels. Your word can set angels on assignment. Your words can release angels. Your words can make things happen. We're going to speak some words this morning. As you speak them, angelic activities is going to start to take place in this place in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says that the angels move at the voice of his word. So he said, I have come because of your word. Verse 13. But it says the prince of the kingdom of Persia re uh, with, withstood me 21 days. Withstood me 21 days. And behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me uh, uh, for I have been left alone with the king of Persia the Bible says the Bible says uh, Daniel prayed and the Lord sent him the answer of the prayer and the Bible says for 21 days um, he was blocked he couldn't get the answer to his prayer not because God had not answered but because the angel that was carrying the answer was actually blocked was hindered in the heavenly places by a demonic spirit so there is something called a spirit of delay there is a de demon called delay they are powers of ungodly delay sometimes we pray and we do not see a result. We pray and we do not see answers. And we think it is actually God withholding the answer so he can develop patience in our lives. Sometimes that is the case. But a lot of times that's not exactly the case. God had answered a long time ago but the spirit of delay hindered the manifestation of your blessing. And I'm hearing in the spirit right now there are some of you that should have graduated a long time ago you should have graduated two years ago the reason why you're still in Miami Dade is because there's a spirit of delay working against you in the heavenly places you should have got married five years ago but the relationship broke not necessarily because God was against it but because there was a spirit of delay working over your life you should have owned your business a long time ago that should have been your third year in your business Business, but there is a spirit of delay every time you drop those documents and you fill out those application and nothing happened but this morning we are talking about the mighty men of war we're talking about the lion of Judah while we worship him and magnify him he's gonna do things that no man can do you heard what I said I said this morning he's gonna do things that no man can do and right now in the name of Jesus Christ as we get ready to pray I want you to give him a shout of praise I want to give him a shout of praise give him a shout of praise give him a shout of praise give him a shout of praise, him a shout of praise. until every wall of Jericho comes tumbling down until every wall of Jericho comes tumbling down I feel like something is about to break in this place. I feel like 
something is about to burst in this place. I feel like the angels of God is about to kick open a door in somebody's life. If you keep on worshiping him that way for two more minutes, something is going to happen. Something is going to break. A door is going to bust open. A chain is going to open. I bind every spirit of ungodly delay. I bind every spirit of ungodly delay. Ungodly delay in marriages. Ungodly delay in relationships. Ungodly delay in studies. Ungodly delay in promotions. Ungodly delay in your professional life. Ungodly delay in pregnancy. We rebuke. We rebuke. We rebuke the spirit of delay. We rebuke the spirit of delay. We rebuke the spirit of delay in every aspect of your life, every facet of your life, every form of your life, every department of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Come and do what only you can do. Demon of war. While we're praying this morning, I said, Mighty man of war, Lion of Judah, we bow down and worship you. Say Yahweh, 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 come and do. What only you can do. Mighty men of war, Lion of Judah, we bow down and worship. Say Yahweh. Say Yahweh. Come and do. Come and but only you I want you to speak to that spirit of delay. I want you to speak to that spirit of delay this morning. You're going to pray this prayer with godly anger. You're going to pray it with godly anger. Why do I say pray with godly anger? Why do I say pray like you mean business? The Bible says in the book of James that Elijah was a man just like us. Elijah was a man of flesh and blood. But the Bible said he prayed earnestly. He didn't just pray. He didn't just pray by routine. He didn't just pray passively. He didn't just pray like he didn't believe it. The Bible said he prayed earnestly. And because he prayed earnestly, the Bible says he was able to close the heavens. He shut the heavens for three years. And when it was time for him to open the heavens, he went back in prayer and prayed earnestly and opened up the heavens. And the Bible says he was not an angel. His name was not Michael. He his name was not Gabriel. He was a man of flesh and blood, just like you and I. There is something when there is power in your prayer, when there is earnestness in your prayer, when you mean business in your prayer, when what you're saying comes from your heart, ah, it goes up in heaven and make a difference. So you're about to pray, but as you're praying, I want you to stop thinking every area in your life where you're experiencing delay, every area in your life where you know you should have been father but you realize that there is a delay I want you to think of that area because you're gonna address it in the name of Jesus Christ that demonic spirit that is behind it you're gonna come against it in the name of Jesus Christ take five seconds to think every area in your life that is experiencing delay financial delay pregnancy delay professional delay relationship delay marital delay Delay, ministry delay, anointing delay, every form of delay, graduation delay, academic delay. I want you to think of every area.
area in your life where you should have been further and you're having a delay. Your son should have been saved a long time ago. Your son should have been singing in the choir right now. But there is a delay. But there is a delay. We're coming against that spirit of delay this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, come and do what only you can do. Say, now I want you to say this. Say, every spirit of ungodly delay. to hear you if your neighbor is louder than you you're not loud enough I want you to speak to that spirit of ungodly delay it's an uh, it's an ungodly delay there is godly delay and there is ungodly delay there is godly delay when God delays the promises so we can grow up so we can mature and so we can have the ability to manage it but not every delay is actually of God if that delay is not of God it is an ungodly delay Delay, powered by a demonic spirit when Daniel prayed and he didn't get the answer to his prayer it wasn't a godly delay it was an ungodly delay that hindered the answer of his prayer so I want you to address that ungodly delay in the name of Jesus Christ and I just and I just heard uh, prophetically you need to raise up your hands like this in the in the heavenly realms because they are different realms there is the third heaven where God is but there is the second heaven where the demonic spirits are because the Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against dominion and principalities in the heavenly places the spirit of ungodly delay resides in the second heaven when you pray and God sends the answer and on his way down to for the answer that spirit of ungodly delay blocks that angels they are there's somebody's baby that is black in the second heaven there is somebody's finances that is black in the second heaven there is somebody's marriage that is black in the second heaven there is somebody's anointing that is black in the second heaven I want you to point your finger at that spirit of delay say every sp every spirit of ungodly delay every spirit of ungodly delay Every spirit of ungodly delay. Every spirit of ungodly delay. Every spirit of ungodly delay. Louder, every spirit of ungodly delay. Six, every spirit of ungodly delay. Seven, every spirit of ungodly delay. Your reign is over. Jesus Christ, one, two, three, four, start speaking it over your life. Every spirit of ungodly delay, your reign is over. Over my life, your reign is over. Your reign is over. Your power is over. Your authority is over. Your manipulation is over. Die. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. I commend you out of my life. I commend you out of my house. I commend you out of my family. I commend you out of my finances. I commend you out of my body. I commend you out of my business. Every spirit of ungodly delay, I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the word of the Lord will come to pass in my life. The word of the Lord will be a reality in my life. The the word of the Lord uh, shall be a reality in my life. Uh, spirit of ungodly delay. Uh, come on, speak against it. Rabba kerebo sanamaya. Robo kode berebo sharaba. Rabba baba 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 kode berebo sanamaya. Rabba 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 soro bo kode berebo sanam. Robo koshe berebo sanamaya. Rabba baba kode berebo sanam. Robo koshe berebo sanamama. Every spirit of ungodly delay, die, 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 die,
ungodly delay in academics, ungodly delay in spiritual life, ungodly delay in ministry. Die! 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 Ungodly delay! Ungodly delay! Your brain is over! Your ministry is over! Your ministry is over! Your attack is over! Your assault is over! Die! 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 I speak deliverance! I speak change! I speak breakthrough! I speak a new season! I speak a new life! I speak a new dimension! In the name of Jesus Christ, your spirit of ungodly delay! verse 20 Judges chapter 5 verse 20 Judges chapter 5 verse 20 let's read together it says they fought from the heavens the stars from their courses fought against Sisera I won't have time to get into all the details of that verse but that verse talk about about stars fighting against people that's what they call astro powers that's what they call a heavenly powers a person can actually have astral and heavenly powers working against them and when that happened the bible says that the 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 the, the, the things in the heaven the different uh, uh, stars they were given to mark seasons in a person's life so they are given to mark seasons when they are demonic curses that are connected with the stars what happened is that those demonic curses manifest themselves by seasons they come and they go there are certain people they experience the same problem every year at the same time some people every month every time the month of May comes around they got no money in their account there are others every time November comes there's problem in the marriage there are others every time it's December they got to get into a car accident whenever you are dealing with things that keep on repeating on a yearly basis on a periodic basis at a very strategic time it means that you're looking at heavenly powers operating against you when heavenly powers stand against you they bring problems in cycles the problems come and when you thought you had solved it the next year it comes back at the same time cycles of failures cycles of poverty cycles of divorce cycle of breaking relationships those problem comes in cycle but I declare this morning every cycle that is in every demonic cycle that is in operation over your life the power of God is here to break it in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ just repeat those words after me say every cycle of failure over my life every cycle of failure in my life so change it say every cycle of failure in my life every cycle of failure in my life every cycle of failure 
Now I want you to speak to that cycle. What is that problem that keeps on coming back? They are problems that you have. You solve them once and for all. You solve them and they go. You solve them and they, they never come back. You solve them and bury them. But there are problems every time you solve them, they just keep on coming back. That dream keeps on coming back. That depression keeps on coming back. That discouragement keeps on coming back. That relationship issues keeps on coming back. So it's a cycle. It's not just a problem. It's a cycle. But 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 speak to it today. Say every cycle of failure in my life. Every cycle of failure in my life. Every cycle of failure in my life. Four. Speak to it. Six. Louder. Seven. Perfection. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Every cycle of failure, every cycle of failure, be broken, 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 now, 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 now. Every cycle of failure, every cycle of failure, every cycle of failure, every cycle of poverty, every cycle of poverty, every cycle of depression, every cycle in the name of Jesus Christ of mental illness, every cycle of loneliness, be broken now every cycle of death hallelujah every cycle of spiritual depression be broken now be broken speak to it in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah be broken 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 Broken now, broken now, broken now, broken now, broken now. Every cycle of failure, every you spirit of poverty, go. Every spirit of poverty in this place, go, go, go. Be broken, go, go. Every spirit of poverty, be broken. Every cycle of failure, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Yahweh. Second Timothy 1, verse 7. Come and do what only you can do. Mighty men of war, Lion of Judah, we bow and worship you Yahweh Yahweh come and do what only you can do mm. say Yahweh Yahweh come and do what only you Second Timothy 1 verse 7 let's read together for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and love and a sound mind too louder three louder Is that the loudest you can do? Give me the loudest you can do. Four! Say those words after me. Say, Spirit of fear. You can do better. You, you, are, you are level five. Give me level six. Spirit of fear. You are at six. Give me seven. Say, Spirit of fear.
doubt, discouragement, spirit of fear, doubt, discouragement, spirit of fear, doubt, discouragement, fall, go by yourself. Six higher. Seven perfection. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, go one, two, three. Spirit of fear, doubt, and discourage. Out of my life. Out. Out of my life. Out of my life. Out of my life. Out of my home, out of my mind, out of my emotions, out, out, in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of fear, doubt, and discouragement. Your power is broken in this place. Your power is broken. Your power is broken. Out, out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rama kore me terebo sanamaya. Rama koshe nebo sanamaya. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Thank you. Shekinah app. Téléchargez-le. Kounia.